This week we introduce you to the Percy Isles, an iconic stopover for cruising yachties on the Queensland coast. We've been here a few days, resting and enjoying the island vibe with our good friends Troy and Pascal from Maroon. First discovered by Captain James Cook in the 1870s, Little Percy was then settled after the Royal Navy had ordered goats to be shipped out here, along with coconuts and other edibles to be planted on the island, to provide a resource for passing shipping. The goats carry the striking features of the Indian Black Nepal breed and have been providing meat, milk and skins for over 130 years. With a few intriguing stories of botanists being eaten by Aborigines, people disappearing and gold hidden somewhere, the island has since built a reputation as a welcoming stopover for cruising yachties. So this is the Percy Islands Yacht Club and isn't it just magical space? The original uh, shed or yacht club was actually built down the beach in the 1950s. It's a much smaller place. There is still some memorabilia in there, but they built this big A-frame here to host all of the cruising yachties that come here. And there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of signs that yachties have made up and placed here. So if you come here and you hang out and you add a little bit of goodness to this space, then you're welcome to put up your own little sign and your own, own piece of memorabilia here. And what a magical place this is. So the yachties who come along this coast every year are encouraged to stop in here at the Percy Isles. You can uh, connect with the people at the homestead on Channel 73. You can buy honey, you can buy eggs or you can trade. Uh, if you need any assistance, they'll come down and help you. Yeah, so we're just hanging out here this afternoon, just chilling out. It's just been divine. We broke our uh, lovely little coconut tool the other day and the old shape used to come around and used to come back in quite an aggressive shape but anyway you can see where it's broken off but we're lucky enough there's enough fat in it and we can we're just going to take a little slice out of there and try and give it a new lease of life and um yeah we'll be away again we'll be away again we are on paradise coconut island we are and we need coconuts and not only that you wouldn't believe it, but there's power on on this island. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So I thought, well, I might as well bring the grinder over and fix the tool up and be coconuts away. Yeah. Okay, so we just whacked a little bit of a sharp edge on, on our little tool here. And uh, once you hook around the top of the nut, we should be able to just pull him down. Should just cut straight through. Awesome. Yeah. High five, my honey. We're back in business. Yeah, baby. <laughs> back in business. <laughs> Good on you, babe. Oh, yeah. Cool gun. We were lucky to be invited up to the homestead for tea, so took the walking track up through the mangroves and woodlands with Troy and Pesky for a vigorous morning's hike. Yeah, nice spot up through here. Nice little freshwater creek. We followed the quirky signs through the woodland areas which host Karajong, Cassia, Mackay Cedars, Hoop Pines, Wattles, Peppermints, Bloodroot Trees and Paper Barks.
We'd taken fresh plums up to share over a cuppa. Prior to Kate and Ernst taking us for a tour of the outer regions of the island to spy the goat lairs of Castle Rock. is a modern day botanist, chatting enthusiastically about the island's history and a myriad of special plants to be found on Percy Island. take the opportunity to stay at the Percy's. The recently renovated treehouse is available for rent and volunteers are always welcome to lend a hand with the upkeep of this iconic paradise. So I'm just hanging out here in the hammock in the, uh, in the Percy Hilton. <laughs> it's a pretty nice way to spend a couple of hours just chilling out and relaxing. It's so lovely that they provide this for yachties. How lucky are we? Anyway, that was enough uh, lazing around. I better get a rattle on. Ernst is coming down shortly to set up a fire where he's going to cook up a goat curry, his famous goat curry, which will be really special. And Kate's coming down from the homestead, and Troy and Pascal are coming in from Marul. So it should be a nice little gathering this evening. And I've got to get out there and make a salad and some couscous, and bring in some veggies to pop in the curry. Should be really good. Darren's got his coconuts, and we'll share those around. So it should be a nice evening by the fire. Yeah, I really like the way, because um, they don't get a lot of uh, fresh veggies out here. They get their supplies every few weeks or every month, I think it is. They go over in the boat to get their supplies for the homestead. So they're often eating uh, the frozen veggies and leftovers and not fresh. So um, it's nice to be able to put in and share our fresh veggies and our fresh produce that we have on board with these guys. The boat should be back tomorrow night, actually. They are over there at the moment restocking, so... They're really low on stock and um, I feel pretty happy to be able to contribute with some fresh, healthy veg. Should be good. Back at the A-frame and we saw that Troy and Paskey had woven a beautiful mat to place over the coconut spike. So Darren put it to good use, husking his coconuts to share with the evening meal. There you go, Darren. Hey, bingo, mate. Okay, we're all ready to go, eh, babe? Absolutely. <laughs> so I've got a nice green salad, because uh, these guys haven't had salad for ages, so it'd be really good to give them some nice fresh produce. And we've got pumpkin and beetroot and uh, zucchini to add to the goat curry. And we've got my um, soup here, because I'm on vegetable soups at the moment. So um, we've got that for me, and we've got some couscous cooking away here um, to uh, add to the curry. So yeah, pretty cool. I get quite excited because we don't actually uh, gather with a lot of people all the time so it's pretty cool to um, 
<laughs> to go. It's kind of like meeting up with your family on a Friday night or something. Mm. <laughs> it's neat, isn't it, babe? Yeah, yeah, mix them up a bit. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and put on some long sleeve shirts and long pants because it's mozzy time. But it should be good. Should be good. The Barbie going. Darren's just fiddling around with our uh, Kumra. Yummy. Ernst is yeah. famous for his goat curries, so if you're lucky enough to be invited, nab the opportunity to share in one of his feasts. Special thanks to Kate and Ernst, whose generosity reminds us to pay it forward to those we meet along the way. Thank you for watching this week's episode. If you'd like to support us in making these videos, click on this link to check out our Patreon platform and jump on board. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends, because it helps our channel grow. You can find our favourite cruising resources on our website and follow us in real time on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week.